Hi guys, welcome to this week's video on how to become a transcriptionist. This is a longer updated video with even more information and resources than the one I did before. So make sure not to skip anywhere so you don't miss any important information. Transcription is a great way to make money from home and it's an in-demand job with a lot of potential. In this video, I'll be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to become a transcriptionist and the skill you need to be successful. We'll also cover the different types of transcription, the equipment you need, and how to find transcription jobs. So if you're ready to learn, let's not waste any more time and go straight into the video. So what is transcription? Transcription is the process of converting audio or video recordings into written text. It is commonly used in a variety of fields, including medical, legal, educational, and business settings. Transcriptionists listen to audio recordings and type out what they hear, creating a written document that can be used for various purposes. Let's look at the different types of transcriptionists that we have. There are basically three types of transcriptionists, general, medical, and legal. Let's define what each of these are. A transcriptionist is someone who typically transcribes audio recordings from a variety of sources such as interviews, sermon, lectures, podcasts into written documents. They do not specialize in any particular field and also they don't require any certification. A medical transcriptionist, on the other hand, is someone who listens to audio recordings made by physicians and other medical professionals and transcribes them into written documents. They must be familiar with medical terminology and understand how to interpret medical abbreviations and be able to accurately transcribe the discharge summaries. Medical transcriptionists are usually trained professionals and require to be certified. Lastly, a legal transcriptionist is a professional typist who transcribes legal documents such as court documents, depositions, briefs, pleadings, and other legal material. Like in medical, legal transcriptionists are trained and certified. Now let's look at why you should become a transcriptionist. Number one, flexible hours. As a transcriptionist, you have the ability to work from home and set your own hours. You can work as much or as little as you want. Number two, you can work from anywhere. As a transcriptionist, you can work from anywhere as long as you have a computer and an internet connection. Number three, variety of work. You have the opportunity to work with a variety of clients from medical, legal, educational, entertainment, and more. You can basically choose the type of work that you want to do. Number four, no experience necessary. Many transcription companies do not require experience, so even if you're a beginner, you can quickly grasp the concept and start making money as a transcriptionist. Number five, good pay. Transcriptionists can make a decent living, depending on a number of factors such as the type of transcription, the experience, the speed, and whether you're working with a transcription company or direct clients. You can expect to make anywhere from $15 to $100 per audio hour. And the last one is a low startup cost. You do not need a lot of money to get started. All you need is a computer, a headset, a reliable internet connection, and a word processing program like Microsoft Word, and you're good to go. The next segment is what is the average salary for a transcriptionist? The average salary for a transcriptionist can vary significantly depending on several factors. Number one, type of transcription. Generally speaking, Medical transcriptionists make more money than general transcriptionists. This is because, compared to general transcriptionists, medical transcriptionists often need to have a higher level of specific knowledge and training, understand a variety of medical documents, be knowledgeable about medical terminology, and be able to decipher complicated medical data. Number two, audio quality. Having files with a lot of background noise, heavy accents, or a lot of speakers in it can majorly slow down a transcriptionist's productivity and thereby affect their earning potential. This is because they will be forced to replay the audio a few times to grasp what it is that is being said. Therefore, spending a lot of time on one single file, which will make them earn less in the long run. Number three, experience level. Experience level is, is also a key factor in determining the average salary for a transcriptionist. As with most jobs, the more experienced a transcriptionist is, the higher the salary they can expect to earn. Transcriptionists with more experience can command higher salaries due to their greater knowledge and expertise. And lastly, 
the typing speed. Your ability to transcribe more work and get more money depends on how quickly you can type. Now let's look at the technical requirements. In transcription, there are four major technical requirements that are essential. Let's see what they are. Number one, a PC slash laptop. In order to perform transcription, you'll need a computer or laptop, preferably a desktop or laptop with a high quality processor, such as an Intel Core i3 or higher. You'll also need at least 4 GB of RAM and a good amount of storage. Number two, you will need a headset. A transcriptionist's job is to turn audio slash video recordings into text. And so a good pair of headsets or earphones is essential because that is what you will use to listen to the files and cancel outside noises. Cardinalist is a transcription software called Expresscribe or you can also use a foot pedal. Having experience with transcription software such as Expresscribe can help transcriptionists work more efficiently because they don't have to keep using the mouse to pause or play the audio files when transcribing, which can significantly slow down their productivity. Rather, a good transcription software like this has some keyboard shortcuts which they can easily use to make them go faster when typing, thereby helping transcriptionists be more productive. I also go more in depth on how to use this software on my next video, so be sure to tap the notification bell so that you do not miss when I post. And lastly, we need to have a good internet connection. This is because often transcriptionists work with large client files which need to be downloaded before you can start to work on them. And because some files have a faster turnaround time, you don't need to waste the majority of your time downloading the file rather than transcribing it. Now let's look at transcription tools that are important. Number one on our list is Grammarly. And Grammarly is an online grammar and spelling checker that helps to identify and correct grammar, spelling, and punctuation mistakes. You can use this while transcribing files to make sure that your transcripts are, are clean and free of errors. Number two is Expresscribe. As mentioned before, this is a professional audio playback program designed to help transcribe audio recordings. It is developed specifically for transcription work and uses keyboard shortcuts to control functions such as play, pause, rewind, forward, etc. It majorly helps transcriptionists improve their productivity because they don't have to use the mouse, for, the mouse for controlling basic functions and therefore just focus on the typing. It provides both a free and paid plan, but the free plan has enough functions for beginners. Next on our list is a software called Audacity. And Audacity helps the quality of an audio or video recordings in cases where the audio has a lot of background noise or low volume. This tool can be used to eliminate the noise and help transcriptionists maximize their productivity. Next on our list is Free Audio Converter. And Free Audio Converter is a free audio file converter software for Windows. It converts audio files from one format to another. You may experience problems sometimes playing certain audio files because of the format, and this tool will help you convert to a format that is suitable for you. It also supports batch conversion and is completely free to use. Last but not least under transcription tools is dark mode. And dark mode is a Google Chrome extension that allows the user to switch to a darker background and highly contrast text for easier nighttime reading. It reduces eye strain and makes it easier to focus on the words and phrases being transcribed. A point to note is that all these tools have a free plan and or are extensions and so as a beginner, you don't have to worry about spending money unnecessarily. Skills and requirements that you will need to be successful as a transcriptionist. Number one, good listening skills. Transcriptionists must be able to understand and accurately transcribe what they hear, so having a good attention to detail is key. Number two, typing speed. A good typing speed is important for a transcriptionist because Sometimes clients give a fast turnaround time for files, and if you're slow at typing, you won't manage to complete a client's file on time. This might cause them to look for another transcriber, and also, being slow may hugely limit your earning potential. Beginner transcriptionists can increase their typing speed by using free websites such as typingtest.com. Number three, basic English knowledge. This will help you to be able to produce client-ready files that will be free of the grammatical mistakes and errors. Although softwares like Grammarly can help a transcriptionist correct grammatical errors, 
a human touch is still of most importance. Number four, strong organizational and time management skills. Having excellent time management skills guarantees that you will be able to complete all of your tasks before their respective deadlines. This is key because of rush jobs or jobs with fast turnaround times. Number five, self-motivation and self-discipline. Most transcription jobs are done remotely, and if you're not self-motivated, it can be difficult for someone to remain productive. Number six, you need to have good research skills. Transcriptions need to possess an exceptional level of research capabilities, as they frequently encounter audio recordings covering diverse topics that contain unfamiliar words, acronyms, organizations, and brands. In such cases, excellent research skills become critical for transcriptionists to successfully complete their work. Number seven and the last one is to be technology savvy. To work as a transcriptionist, no advanced computer skills are required. However, to be successful in this job, it is important to be proficient with word processing softwares and transcription tools. Now that we've gone through the basic intro of the tools, skills and requirements we might need, let's now look at the styles of transcriptions and go more in depth into the lesson. When it comes to transcribing audio or video recordings, there are two main kinds of transcription, full verbatim and clean verbatim. Although both are used to capture the spoken words within the recording, there are important differences between the two. Let's dive straight in and look at the first one, which is full verbatim. Full verbatim transcription refers to the process of capturing a recording word for word. This includes false starts, repetitions, interjections, filler words such as am um and are, ah, as well as any background noises like laughter or coughs. Full verbatim transcription is ideal for capturing important details such as legal proceedings and medical records. Now let's look at clean verbatim. Clean verbatim transcription is a modified form of full verbatim transcription. In clean verbatim, the transcriber attempts to capture the content of the conversation while omitting the words and phrases that are not critical to the meaning of the conversation. This includes filler words such as arms and are ah and poses. The goal of clean verbatim transcription is to create a transcript that is easier to read and understand while still capturing the essence of the conversation. Let's take an example. In full verbatim, you might say, the secretary is is uh, late for the meeting. Let's um, <coughs> give her a couple of minutes. In clean verbatim, you will write that and say, the secretary is late for the meeting. Let's give her a couple of minutes. Now, on this section, let's look at websites where you can get to practice your transcription skills for free. The first transcription website that allows you to practice your transcription is a site called Voxtab. When you go to Google and type in Voxtab.com, this is the homepage that you will land on. And so let us just scroll down a bit and see what it is uh, that they do or how it looks like. Okay, yep, this is how it looks like. And so when you want to practice your files, you have to come here where it's written home services and under this arrow going down, you click, you click learn more under the transcription services. So let us click that and see where it, it lands us. So this is the page that it will land you. Scroll down once again until you see somewhere where it's written types of transcription services and samples. So under this, as you can see, they've given us an example of a legal transcript, a business transcript, a market research transcript, interview transcript, academic transcript, an interview transcript, a media transcript, a sermon, a podcast, and a medical transcript. So basically, they've given us almost everything under the sun, if not everything. And so when you want to practice, let's say you want to practice legal transcription. So let's come to this audio file that um, they've given under the legal transcript. And on these three dots, click it. You'll see somewhere written download. Then download this file. After you have downloaded that file, go to a transcription software such as Expresscribe and upload your file there. Afterwards, type it out, type out what you hear. For example, you have chosen you want to do verbatim transcription or clean uh, verbatim transcription. Meaning, under verbatim, you will retain all the starters, all the fluff, and all the filler words. 
and under clean verbatim you remove all that so choose the type of transcription you want to do first of all and then after you have done that come and download if you have done a verbatim transcription come and download this verbatim transcript and then compare the two against each other so that you see what you have done right and what you have done wrong and same with the rest if you want to, if you want to do if you do a clean verbatim then come and download this clean transcript and compare between the two some clients ask for speaker identification so there's also a transcript with that and also timestamps and so do that and then come back and download these uh, transcripts that they've done for you so that you can see what it is that they require of you and something else don't be scared when you see a transcript with speaker identification or timestamps because a transcription software such as Exp express scribes gives keyboard shortcuts where you just press and it inserts uh, timestamps depending on the settings if you want it every 30 seconds every 10 seconds every two minutes depending on the settings that you have uh, say that you want uh, transcription software such as express scribe will do that for you so don't worry about um, that and as i as i said i will do um, a demo video to show you how to use uh, express scribe and another bonus transcription software that i will not be talking about in this video but it will be in that demo video so watch out for that second website we're going to talk about is called Scribe. Once again, when you go on Google and type in Scribe, this is the website. This is the homepage that you will see. And so just scroll down when you want to practice your files. And under company and also under careers, there's a button written you're hiring. Click on that. And when you click on that, it will take you to this page. Once again, scroll down. And when you scroll down, you will see here where it's written home based transcriber remote apply click on the apply button again it will take you to this page and under this page you will see where it says sign up and start earning or practice files so today i'm teaching you how to practice files and so i would suggest you click on the practice files so that you can see what um, the page that so you can get to hone your skills and so here, as you can see, every website has their own um, guidelines. And so first of all, there are instructions that they've given you. Under the instructions, you are told, click the blue button to preview the audio quality, accents, etc., and select the easiest one. So this is the blue button they're talking about. And then they tell you on your computer or laptop, press F10 and listen for five seconds. Press F10 again to pause and type what you hear. So that is what we call a key, keyboard shortcut. So that you don't have to keep pressing your mouse because it will, without, with the keyboard shortcuts, it will allow you to go faster when you're typing. I told, repeat the process for the rest of the file. Pref, press F7 to go back and F12 to insert a blank for inaudible parts. So this is under their guidelines. They're told, if you, if you can't hear something, then press F12 and it will, it will insert an inaudible part. Again, spell check will be started automatically on submit and has to be completed in order to finish. On submission, the transcript will be compared with our version and the differences will be shown. Look at the major changes and evaluate the accuracy yourself. Please use a supported browser, latest version of Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And then lastly, they tell you, please note that these files are provided for practice and are not representatives of the actual test files. Actual test files are much harder. So this will let you know if this is, a, is the job for you. Once again, just preview. I told to click this to preview. But since you are you are practicing, I would suggest that you just get to do all of these things. The thing with Spray that is great is that they've given you various and different the various accents to practice with and also told you the difficulty level like for example this first audio you're told it's a british accent and it's medium difficulty so it's not it's not it's not so easy and it's not so hard it's medium difficulty there's also an american accent there's australian accent there's african accent and there's indian accent so it's good to practice all these files because you don't know which files you'll get to work on when you're doing the actual jobs so let's select 
one of them. Let's say we select that one so that we see how the the work what do you call this how this looks like the transcription editor looks like and so they told us you press f10 and then you hear what it says you press f10 you pause you type out what you hear okay and then when you can't when you want to proceed again yeah those are simpler times i think i just feel i've had those are simpler times I think. okay so that's all that you do you do that you type out what you hear until when you finish you click submit and they'll show you the difference between yours and theirs that's it and a transcription certificate you do not need to be certified to be a general transcriptionist for medical transcriptionists, however, the Association for Healthcare Documentation Integrity provides two industry certifications. Number one, the Registered Healthcare Documentation Specialist, RHDS, and number two, Certified Healthcare Documentation Specialist, CHDS. For legal transcriptionists, the American Association of Electronic Reporters and Transcribers provides Certified Electronic Transcriber Certificate, or CET. In case you're interested to know where you can find transcription jobs as a beginner transcriptionist, I'll link two videos in my description box where you can apply for transcription jobs that hire worldwide with no experience. So be sure to check on there for direct links. And I'll also leave two end screens that you can click and it will lead you straight to those videos. Now let's look at the mode of payment. Most transcription companies pay through either PayPal, Pioneer, or direct bank deposits. So it's important to sign up to these payment websites before applying to jobs because some will ask you for a verified payment email. And that's it from me for today's video. Thanks so much for watching this video on the ultimate guide to becoming a transcriptionist. I hope this has given you the necessary information you need to get started. With the right dedication, I promise you, you can become a successful transcriptionist. Good luck on your journey and I'll see you next time. Bye.